Hey everyone. My name is Jai. What we are going to talk about today, is the 6th exercise, about SQL injection, and how to prevent in PHP and MySQL applications. But before we start, and for you to understand it better, I suggest you watch our video about the login page first. What is SQL injection and how to prevent it? SQL injection is a type of an injection attack that makes it possible to execute malicious SQL statements. These statements control a database server behind a web application. Attackers can use SQL injection vulnerabilities to bypass application security measures. They can go around authentication and authorization of a web page or web application and retrieve the content of the entire SQL database. They can also use SQL injection to add, modify, and delete records in a database. An SQL injection vulnerability may affect any website or web application that uses an SQL database such as MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, or others. Criminals may use it to gain unauthorized access to your sensitive data, customer information, personal data, trade secrets, intellectual property, and more. SQL injection attacks are one of the oldest, most prevalent, and most dangerous web application vulnerabilities. The AWASP organization, Open Web Application Security Project, lists injections in their AWASP Top 10 2017 document as the number one threat to web application security. SQL injection usually occurs when you ask a user for input, like their username or user ID, and instead of a name or id, the user gives you an SQL statement that you'll unknowingly run on your database. Now let's open our index.php file. Here we will put our login page. I will explain the content of the index.php file. Above, we still have a start session, so we can read the value of our session variable app login. We will still use the binary value, which is 1 and 0. When the value is 1, we will redirect to the page that is successfully logged. If 0 we will return to the login page. Here we put, our title login form. This is our form object element, for the action event. And this is also our access your account label. Our username text box, for our username input. Our user input password text box. The sign in button. Clicking the sign in button, we will call the submit.php file. So let's open our submit.php file, so we can see its contents. Above, we enter the PHP function require once, to read the contents of our constants variables, such as database user ID and password. In the session app log attempts, we enter 30 temporary values, so that we are not immediately blocked. And we can try SQL injection on our login page. Got a fever in my mind that's burning Leaves me dreaming in the middle of the day I close my eyes and get These are our constants variables so that we can create a database connection Try to ignore it but my thoughts will move How can I fight it when I'd bet to lose? Let's create a database connection Then check if we are connected to our database. If you are mindful keeps, just don't wake me when I sleep. That's a world. 
let's use a SHA-256 encryption. For now, this is one of the safest to use to encrypt our password, because its encryption is only one way, which means, it does not have a decryption. This query is vulnerable in SQL injection, because the parameters, are directly execute to our query string. Let's try to print the SQL injection vulnerabilities here. Let's remove the PHP comment tags, so that we can display this message in the error box. If you are keeps, just Even if you do not know the username and password, if you use SQL injection, it will continue to log in successfully. Oh, right? We can log in using our login page, which even though the username and password input we used in the text box is not a real password, just a text that returns a true value in the query string. In this practice of making query strings, I suggest you do not use it anymore. Because it is not safe, our data on database tables can be stolen. Vulnerable to SQL injection. Let's comment on this query string, we don't need it anymore, because our data will be ruined like that. Oh, you're smart. Now, let's uncomment this correct query string, to preventing SQL injection in our applications. We have used a prepare statement for our query string. In this setup, we cannot directly execute the value of the parameter conditions in our query string. Saben de dónde vengo, representando desde California eso, fuerte como yeso, desde me lo empiezo, paso por la vida yo ganándome los pesos, si no te gusta homie quedas como hielo, queriendo de mi vida desde el mero tipo infierno, sé que estoy enfermo, siempre trago pipa, pero es la lavadita que me cura la herida, de corazón me lo cura la bebida, oiga cantinero, traiga más mi te quiero recordar a los que se adelantaron, y que nos cuidan desde arriba, sepan que los amo.